It's your boy Niston from Everything Niston coming to you with a new video and from you could see from the um, title of the video I'm going to do unpopular opinions so without further ado let's get straight into the video so the first unpopular opinion says um, money can buy happiness first of all some people might say yes money can buy happiness because if you give me a million dollars right now i going to be happy but the thing is for how long will you be happy that's you had a look at so money cannot buy happiness it could buy happy it cannot buy happy it brings happiness for a period of time and then when that money runs out because it's going to run out are you going to be happy no. next the next unpopular opinion says that walking is more benef is just as beneficial as running. First of all, I do not do not like to run at all. Y'all want me to die? <laughs> I do not like to run at all. So what but if I have to, I would. You understand? But walking, you're moving, your hands are moving one. Your feet are moving one. You sweating the same. So the time difference. That's the only thing that will differ. Next it says getting married solves most of your problems. Trust me. If you all see the rate of divorce within the world is more than the rate of so getting married don't solve a problem. You're still humans. All you all you basically do is join nuts and you become one so getting married don't solve even though getting married is the right way it does not solve all of your problems get me yes. different political views in a relationship does not matter first of all that is true because let's use the parties in saint vincent the ulp and the ndp so let's say jane and jack jane and jack are in a relationship tight relationship loving relationship and jane is ulp and Jack is NDP. That should not make the relationship become a problem, like a problematic relationship. Because why would Jane be upset with Jack for his view? So I don't see a, I don't see where the problem should come in in a relationship right there. So next, is if you don't like yourself, like if you don't like to be around yourself, how could you be around others? How does it work? Because that's a true popular opinion. Because you cannot be by yourself in one corner every day of your life and then you go over into a group of people and feel comfortable. It doesn't work. Ask any person who has been antisocial for a number of years and come back into the friend making business. For me personally, I feel so uncomfortable with a large group group of people if like five to six people are in the room i feel good but let's say 16 18 20 63 people in one room i feel so uncomfortable i feel uh, very very uncomfortable so that opinion is true next people who are raised in a religious household are this for greatness meaning they'll get their dream house their dream car they'll get in the world and people who are not raised in a religious household will get nothing First of all being raised in a religious household is good but it does not it, it does not determine whether the child becomes successful or not because the child could come out to be a gangster the parents only bring the child is not they don't bring the child's mind so ju just raising the child into a religious christian household does not make them better or good off than other children because a child could be raised out of christian homes and do way better than a child within the christian household next is water tastes better with ice cube what make it make sense you tell me in the comments that one question the last one which is the best one of all horror movies are enjoyable very 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 enjoyable to watch in my opinion one horror movies are the best 
People say, oh, they're very demonic. They're not supposed to watch them, especially if you're a Christian, etc., etc., invoking demon spirits inside of you, etc., etc. I understand your logic, but me, I just like to watch horror movies, right? Because when you see this particular person, this is the killer and this is the person. The person running and the killer is running behind of them. And then they turn around, walk up to the killer, touch the killer's face, touch the, the killer's weapon, and when they see the killer raises their weapon, they start to run, fall down, get back up, start to run again. And that, 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 that's not supposed to be funny. That's supposed to be scary. Let me list some horror movie. It has Friday the 13th, it has Annabelle, it has Conjuring, it has It. It is a funny, it, it ain't even scary. It's Final Destination 1 through 5. Or six. So thank you for watching my video. Feel free to drop anything in the comments, the videos in the comments you want me to react to or you video suggestions you want me to do. Um don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Keep safe, wear your mask when you have to, because we're still in the COVID peace season. All the persons who are doing exams, keep CX, etc. Good luck in your exams. Best wishes for you guys. Love you guys.